with the rise in homeless populations all over America, including America's largest cities, Houston has a huge homeless problem. Houston is the fourth largest city in America with only New York, Los Angeles, and Chicago having a larger population and surface area. So it was estimated in 2016 that Houston has approximately 3,600 homeless people. But I believe that's a small estimation. I think that it's more uh, around five to 7,000. But I just wanna do a little bit of investigation uh, reporting this morning. Let's find out if Houston, one of the shelters, has open beds. Hang on. Yes, sir. Hey, me and my homeboy are coming in from Austin, and we want to know if you guys got open beds over there. Uh, we do. We start intake at 2.30 in the afternoon, and they stop taking at 7.30. You guys always got beds over there? Oh, what do we need to get in? Uh, just identification. Any kind of ID? Does it got to have a picture on it? Uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, for three days, if you don't have, uh, if you don't have uh, an actual ID, uh, they'll give you three days grace on that. But uh, uh, that's all they'll do. Okay. How many days a month can I stay over there? Free. Uh, seven. Seven days a month. Okay, thank you so much, man. You're welcome. Okay, I hope God forgives me for lying like that. But, you know, I just had to do a little bit of investigation and ask these people what the deal is. He said they got open beds. He said uh, that does get filled up. Uh, I, from what I know, the Salvation Army has about 250 or 300 beds, I believe. And uh, we were probably talking to a guy that was in the uh, program over there. Now, our, our mayor has made a bunch of changes for the Houston homeless population. And they've been talking a lot about uh, getting rid of these tents, making it illegal to have a tent, making it illegal to lay on the street between 7, 7 a.m. and 11 p.m. Right now, it's legal between 11 p.m. and 7 a.m. So uh, what we're going to do is um, we're going to be going over to the camp right now and we're going to take some video. I just want to show you guys what what this local place not far from my house is called Kush Camp. We're going to go ahead and look at that real quick and walk through there and get some inside look and then we'll come back and discuss it, okay? ordinance that came up where you gotta take down these tents you know 
I'm shooting a video, but I'm trying not to get anybody's personal. That's why I'm holding it low like this. I'm not trying to interrupt anybody's privacy, you know what I mean? Hey, I was homeless before, man. I know what's up, you know. And I'm a local resident, and I kind of feel like we're treating y'all a little bit unfair, you know. So I'm going to try to make a little bit, bring some awareness to this. And I understand what it's like, man. They've been putting you guys on the news quite a bit lately. And, and this right here is part of the issue. You know what I mean? For them. But if you think all the way back to uh, Pierce Elevated, back in the day, that shit was open all over the place. Probably when you were a kid, you know. They ended up, uh, what happened was a, a city councilman's daughter got raped under there and then they went down there and Metro bought it and they fenced it all off. What the hell was she doing down there? Smoking her. Oh, shit, you know. Hey, I'm no, I'm no stranger to that shit. I've been in prison, you know, I've had my time with drugs too. That's why I kind of feel like somebody needs to bring awareness to this. Uh, maybe we can find some kind of solution. Now, now the city has proposed putting a open shelter over by one of the Star Hopes. Okay. Where they can put a cover over it with some bathrooms, and then you guys can go over there and camp. You know, I don't know where you guys can go. You know, I just don't fucking know. You know, I mean, what are you gonna do? You know? Yeah, I mean, they, they, they pretty much got all the roaches in one one spot. You know, just leave them there and crush them whenever you want to instead yeah. of scattering them all over the place. You know? Yeah. And, and, scatter them in, now you gotta go find them, now you got them in each and every neighborhood. You have them somewhere where they migrate and where they sing, you can police them, you can watch them. Yeah. Let them sit there. Well, yeah, I mean, Austin has something like that. Uh -huh. and it, it works out pretty good, but uh, they estimated last year 3,600 homeless people in Houston, and I really think that it's more like about 6,000, man. Because uh, even just right here, you got probably 200, you know, on any given night. Anyway, I'm just shooting a video and I'm trying to keep it low. I appreciate what you're doing, man. I'm, I'm trying to help you guys really in the long run is what I'm doing. I will see you later, man. So we just walked all the way down through there and got talking to a gentleman that was on a bicycle. I don't know if he's in the video or not, but you know, this thing goes for about another eighth of a mile and the plight of the, the Houston homeless is getting harder and harder. But if you looked at this video I just shot, man, you'll see that it looks like a tent city down under there. And, and that's just a short walk through it. But the city council has decided to make an encampment law where where all those tents are now illegal and all their personal possessions can no longer fit inside anything bigger than a three by three box. So all this is coming down in the next week or so and I'm gonna try to keep an update on, uh, on what's going on right here because this is just a few minutes walk from my house, you know. And so we're gonna try to keep an update hopefully chaos will not erupt when they come down here to tear these camps down because they're going to do it the houston city is going to do it and i'm trying to bring awareness to this you know homeless is no joke a lot of people are homeless for various reasons and some of them need help and some of them want help and some of them don't want help you know but this gentleman i was talking to on the bicycle right there walking down through there i recognize him as a local drug dealer but uh, at least he was kind enough to talk to me. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna post a link, actually a couple of links. There's an article by, by the Houston Press and an article by the Houston Chronicle that cover these issues and talk about what's happened here recently with the homeless population. And I want you guys to go down there and read through that and see what you can figure out and what kind of information you can get from it. The homelessness is a problem, it is a big problem. Uh, if you look behind me over here, we just walked a block, these 
yellow buildings are three hundred, four hundred thousand dollar homes, and these right here are the same. This is simply two blocks from where we were just at, and um, the residents in this area are really upset over that over that uh, camp down there. You know, they call that Kush Camp because there's a big drug problem over there. But you know, we're, we just want to continue to bring awareness to this situation. <coughs> Anyway, look for the links and see if you can uh, check out my PayPal account, check out my Patreon account, look for it, uh, go ahead and become a subscriber, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, go ahead and, uh, you know, hey, donate money, man, it costs money to operate, we're going deep inside camps and all kinds of crazy stuff, so hey, if that ain't worth something to you, I don't know what is. My name is Johnny Jetrod. Thank you, America.